Hi, my pinkies. OMG, I miss you. I am so sorry. I know everybody's been trying to like, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? Well, I am back. And with this video, it's going to be a haul and a new type of plan with me. And there's no excuse. I can't use life as an excuse because then if I use life as an excuse, I could use that for anything. So I'm sorry. And there's no excuse for me for not planning videos and doing videos or putting up videos so anyways what's up and let's just jump right into this haul shall we and after that you will see my new style not style but new plan with me also this video might be oh, might be i know it's going to be longer than my usual videos so press pause go get a snack go get a drink and come right back and we'll start Right now, if you guys want to get up to date information, I do post them a lot, a lot on my Instagram. It's just really instant at the moment, so you will always be up to date at this moment. So, okay, so this is a haul, and this, as you can see, is from Bloom Planners. And I am so grateful that I could do a collab with them, and it finally came in. I'm so excited! I met them at Go Wild and that was back in May, beginning of May. They contacted me right after and the products I picked was actually not available till mid-June because they are new products and I do want to try out their products because oh my gosh, have you guys seen it? Have you guys seen their website? Like all the pretty covers and planners there <gasps> is to die for and then not to mention, I went back to their website yesterday and they added some more new covers. Oh my gosh. So yeah, and they're having an awesome sale this weekend, by the way. But yes, let's get into what I picked out. I didn't want to be greedy and pick everything. So I just picked out the things that I know I'll be using in my daily life and to help me organize and be productive. Honestly, I was so giddy. When they asked me to do this, I'm like, yeah, it's like like putting a kid in a candy store and, and that they could choose whatever candy and chocolate they want. But you know me, I can't take everything. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly unpack this and read the thank you card that it came with. And also, I'm going to take out the products. As you guys can see, it's very well packaged with double bubble wrap. I'm so impressed. And here we go. So I did pick up four things from the website that I know I'll be using on a daily basis. Well, three of them will be used on a daily basis and one of them when I do need to travel. So we'll just do this Bloom Packing List. I've seen other planners use this planning list and it just works very well. Because with me, I, I love making lists and when I make lists, I make lists in my head and sometimes when I do that I tend to forget things because most of the times is when I'm laying in bed making my list and this list will help me and make it a lot easier to pack especially when you're packing for little kids going on trips it's overwhelming when you're traveling with two little ones because you want to make sure you have everything so here you have your everyday items to pack your accessories and others and then you can also add in the ones that you is not on the list that you want to bring or even if you're traveling for a special occasion it points out your outfit too like what you choose to bring what outfit you're going to wear that day the next item i got was these act of kindness cards and it's just quote cards that i figure i could use in my planners or just give them away randomly to anybody i see even on the street it only takes a smile just one smile to make somebody happy for that moment or even for the day. In a pack, there's 30 unique cards per set. Um, there are different themes, so I picked the act of kindness themes. And you could write messages on the back of the card, but on the back of the card, there's also quotes, not quotes, but pre-written messages about act of kindness and paying forward. They are printed on glossy drawing cards, and I think it's great to use it in my daily planners too. Next item I picked out is the Today's To Do book. 
I've already started using this and I love it. I'll do a full review in my review haul in August when I do use the planner. Book is small enough that you can leave it on your bedside or in the kitchen. Just jot down what you need to do today. So there's the top three that you need to do and then other little mini to-do list. You have your exercise and on the side it just tells you important times. Your meal planning is there too which is awesome. Also what to buy and what you're grateful for and also a water tracker at the bottom. Also not to mention the pages are also perforated so if you do need to take the piece of paper on the go you could just rip it out nicely instead of having all those fringes from the spirals. And as you see at the back of the book there's also a pocket that you could put your receipts, your coupons or your post-it notes or anything that you need. And finally, a new planner that I've been waiting for so long to try out and use. So it's from August till July of next year. And as you can see, it's super thin compared to the Erin Condren, which I'm going to show you right now. The Erin Condren I'm showing you is also a 12 month. It's also smaller and it's hardcover. I do love hardcover books, notebooks, anything. It just makes it... It gives it a better protection and the corners are adorned with gold corner protectors like hello that's a must-have right you don't want scrunch up corners like oh I love this I'm so happy that I did pick the palm leaves but then after seeing that there's new ones in the web on the website kind of want to get more but yes so I'm just gonna flip through the pages to show you um, what's inside in every plan. So as you see that it showed you how to use this and this is actually a vision plan not a vision plan but a goal getter goal setting planner so it tells you what you want to do this year you ask you a question places you want to visit and the vision board of your year here is a weekly scheduling template so if you have activities or you're in school you can always put down the time and your weekly events that's happening every week. So next page is your 2018-19 bucket list and then your notes, a few pages that you could write down notes. Now, so this is the beginning of the month. So here is your monthly vision on what you wanna achieve, on what you wanna do. You could also use this as a memory keeping book too. And here is the whole month in view. And as you can see at the top right corner, it says challenge. So it does give you a little motivation and challenge of what to achieve for that month. And here's the weekly view. So this planner do start in August of 2018 here. And as you can see, there's a weekend banner printed already in your planner book. Like that's so cute. So up there, I don't know if you can see because it's too bright or the, the words too faint, but there's always a quote up there. And at the bottom, you could fill in anything you want. Um, notes, memory, ideas, just jot it down. It has water intake daily, water intake tracker. And on the left side top is your weekly focus. So what you're going to focus on that week. And at the back, there's also pockets that you can also put anything you want in there. So this is so far touching it, feeling it. It's so sturdy. It's easy to use. It's light. It's small enough. It's thin enough to put in your purse. Okay, so my next haul, I got stickers from Happy Daya. They are based in Thailand and she creates and draws her own characters and doodles. And I just fell in love with it when I saw her doodles. It's just super cute. And like, look at all the freebies that came with this. Like, OMG, that package right there I'm holding, those are all freebies. Yeah, right? Wow. Um, <laughs> I did order her stuff. I think in the last PBC sale and I'm gonna be honest I totally forgot about it until it arrived because it's coming from Thailand and it took a while to deliver it but I'm so happy that I got it so there are a die cuts there and all these are just stickers sample sticker sheets like OMG there's so many let's count one two three four five yeah, five, five sticker sample sheet and two of them are foiled and they're beautifully foiled too. So I can't wait to use these stickers and I'm so happy that it arrived. 
Okay, I'm going to show you the stickers that I got. So I'm a sucker for foil, as you know. And I do love my date nights. Me and my husband do go on a bi-weekly date nights because we do need to connect. And it just makes the relationship very healthy that way too. So yes, I'm just peeling the stickers to see how it is. But oh my gosh, I love it. I'm going to zoom you guys in a bit so you can see the stickers a bit more. Sorry about the chip marked at the bottom of the screen because my table has chips. I thought these were cute with washies with pandas. I can use them for my wash releases and night shifts when I need to work at night, especially during new releases, new restock. I needed swimming stickers because my little ones are learning to swim in the summertime. So I figured these are great. And I always forget to take my daily medication. So that's a great way to remind me. And more date night stickers. Because I go through them a lot. And I thought this is so cute. Like look at that. And there's other ones where the couples are shopping. But I don't think I would spend my date nights shopping with my husband. But it's just a couple things to do. And here look. Look how lovey dovey that is. Like hugging. My daughter is also in a gymnastic program, so I'm going to use these for a gymnastic. I thought these were perfect. And I need stickers for my little boy. And honestly, I would not know, but it's so hard to find little boy stickers out there. And when she, I saw this, I'm like, I gotta get three. Also like to mention, you could customize the skin color and the hair color too, to suit your child characters. And here you see also no school, won't be using those till September. And I thought this was cute. I wasn't sure if I did really order this one, but if I did, it will be for my daughter and Amazon. Yes, I need Amazon because I'm practically ordering on the website mostly every other day, which I shouldn't, and packing. Next, I have also Paper Reese, and she's from the Philippines, I believe, and hers also took a while too. Anything that's international for me did take a while, like three months to get to me to Canada which I don't mind because it's worth the wait and like look how cute her doodles are for these happy meals I just can't say no to these like with the bow too like come on so I had to get four of them and as I said before I'm the sucker of foiling and I thought these were cute with the hearts I did get two kits from her here is one of them I don't remember what the kit is called I'm pretty sure you could pick and choose like a la carte which sticker sheet you want and I know I love full boxes so I'll be using a lot of full boxes just gonna zoom you guys out a bit and some headers and some functional stickers for my kits I think this was the personal planner I don't know it was a while since I placed this order and then here's the other kit it's more of a softer pastel -y color but yes I'll be using the bottom kit for this plan with me as you will see and lastly I did a shop swap with Shell's Scribbles she does vinyl stickers and also regular stickers so here I did get a few of her vinyl pieces I think we did a shop swap of $35 Canadian so that's like equivalent of $25 US I believe so I did pick up some bows in the champagne glitter black and white can't you wait to use those on my tumblers on my laptop and I'm not sure where I'm going to use the third one so the stickers I got from her I thought I would use it for my personal planner pocket size and it's great because she folded them and it could go into your pocket size planner so you could do it as a go so I also pick out this mermaid sampler sheet so I think there is four different kits here and I just love how it's formatted and folded that you could just slip it into your pocket size planner and just use it on the go I'll be using these in the fall because they are darker colors
And lastly, my Erin Condren haul. For those who are following me on Instagram or watch my Insta story about how they sent me the wrong planner binder, well, it was the coiling that was silver and I wanted the rose gold. I contacted customer service. They sent it to me right away. It only took a week. And because I'm an international customer, they said to keep the wrong planner. So guess what, guys? Their mistake will be your gain because I'm going to use that planner as a giveaway. Once my other washi comes in, I'm going to do it as a bundle and make it as a giveaway. Yay! So I got two planners because I want to try out their hourly right now. And as you can see, the next page, I did start using it before I filmed the haul. And so far, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy looking my daily schedule in a week. As you can tell, I haven't really filled it out because I do like to fill it out on a daily basis or a half a week basis. So the vertical planner is 18 month and then the hourly is a 12 month. So you can see the thickness between the two. Usually in July, I usually take out half of my happy planner because it just gets too full and use the other half. But because it's July and I got all these beautiful planners, I'm gonna start using all four of these for my last half of the year. I've been using my happy planner for almost three years and I feel like I need to change it up. I see all these beautiful throughs of Erin Condren's and I need a trophy Erin Condren. And when I mean trophy Erin Condren, I mean like every week all the spreads are done and that you have it coiled and everything is in that planner. And I made a vow to myself that I have to stop hoarding weekly stickers and use them every week. Or I just tell myself it's a different way of hoarding because you do have all the beautiful stickers collection in your Erin Condren and that it's still there. It's not going anywhere but you're using it and it's still there. So that's why I call it a trophy Erin Condren planner. So having all that said, let's just get right into the plan with me because this video is already too long. The week I'll be planning is July 2nd to July 8th and the kit I'll be using is oh so papery. I just love this color combination. It's soft and whimsical with the deer, the flowers, the hummingbird feathers and the hot air balloon. I also went ahead to pick out some washi, not like how I usually do before where I just stop the video, go halfway and find the washi. So the washi I picked out is all from our shop. It's the Aurora washi collection with the Belay Envy and also a washi from the Lisa Venus in white. I'm going to do a scattered planning, meaning that all my full boxes will be scattered around in my weekly spread, not like how I usually do it in blocks. So here I have my quotes always on my Thursdays. So for scattered my way, this is how I usually do it. I do it diagonally down and then di diagonally back up like a V in your week. And then with the weekends, it just depends on the weekends. And I'm just going to cover the blank tops up there with my skinny washi and also put the same thing at the bottom just to tie it down. So the way I do it is an organized scattered way, meaning that it follows a certain pattern sequence. So after I put my full boxes, I put my washi down for border and then I put my meal plan so that it has an order so it doesn't look too chaotic, but at least I know where the sticker goes, like a pattern. And once I put that down, I put another washi down just to break it up a bit. And then after that is my to-do list that I need to do that day. And after the to-do list is the today events that's happening. And then I repeat the same method formula for the rest of the days in the week. I call this an organized mess. <laughs> When you get to Wednesday, the bottom where you're supposed to put the washi, I just put it back on top so it loops back up. 
and then you continue with the same formula that you have. You don't have to follow my way, everybody plans differently, but for me when it's scattered like this, it just keeps it a little bit more organized. And I'm going to do that pattern for the rest of the week till Friday. Once that's done, I work on my weekend. Usually I don't really plan on my weekend because weekends are just family day and I just go with the flow. And because having that said, it's harder for me to plan the weekend because there's no planning. So right now I'm just deciding where do I want my full boxes? How do I want to do my weekend planner? I always keep the Sunday's night keep on calling it Sunday night but the bottom block of Sunday I call it night because as you know like a few years back back in the OG they put morning afternoon night, so I'm so used to calling it night but the last block at the bottom of Sunday I always leave that open for my next week so I can list down things that needs to be done by next week if I didn't achieve it this week or it didn't happen this week So I'm just going to put washies at the bottom here. I don't really use that bottom part. I don't know what I could use it for. I could do trackers, but I like to put my washi down just to make it a bit more decorative and pretty. Here's a quick little design info. So this washi set here, Aurora, that I'm using, I've designed this to fit a 1.5 meter, meter 1.5 inches wide block. So that you could use it as a pretty border or header on top. Now that that's done, I'm going to work on the weekend banner because the kit didn't come with a weekend banner, or it did, but I didn't pick that sheet of sticker to use. So I'm going to create my own and lately I've been seeing a lot of washi weekend banners that I'm going to try <laughs> to do. And obviously when I start doing this, the camera just shuts off after 28 minutes. So here, it's already done. I'm pretty happy how it turned out actually. It's my first weekend banner with washi. And let me tell you, it was pretty hard. How I did it was that I put the thicker washi down like the widest washi down first and then to the thinnest so I put down my 15s my 10s and then my 6 and I think it turned out beautifully <laughs> now to fill in the today events I'm just going to use these half boxes and fill them in the boxes And on my sidebar, I like to use it for my Instagram ideas or what I want to post on that day for the Instagram pictures. The kit does come with decorative stickers, so I'm just going to stick them all over. And lastly, I'm going to put some functional icon stickers that I know that things, what things are going around that day. And there you go. This is before the pen. I'm going to fill it off camera because the video is already long enough. <laughs> and that's it. And I am just in love with this. The first page of my trophy planner. <laughs> Thank you guys for sitting through this long video. I feel like it's so long. Well, editing felt kind of long, but usually my plan with me videos only take 10 minutes to watch, super quick, super fast. I will leave all shops info down in the description, which I mentioned in the haul before. And um, for new releases, ooh, this is the first time you guys will be hearing this. There'll be new releases next week. I am expecting the pre-sale restock shipment to come in next middle, hopefully middle of the week, and that I can launch the new releases out on Friday. Yay! 
By the way, the new releases will be in my standalone store only and that I won't be putting any new items into my Etsy shop anymore. Due to, as you all know, that Etsy decided to increase their fees and also add additional new fees to it. But no matter where I go, you guys are my home and I am so grateful and thank you for all your support and all your kind words and your encouragement to get back into videos and YouTube. So thank you and it's great to be back. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool and I'll see you next week. Happy planning. Bye.